Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to uh, do some work on getting a horde base upgraded. Uh, so let's see. First thing that we want to do is we got some fence posts in the last episode, um, and we want to take one of those and make the schematic for it so that we can actually make the fence posts. Uh, so let's see what we need for this. Do, do, do fence posts. Um, we need electrical parts, a circuit board, and five scrap wires. All right, let's pin that. We must be just slightly out of range there to pick that stuff up, which is fine. All right, so we got five of those. We need five electrical parts. circuit board and five wires you should have lots of that kind of stuff and 200 research data and 10 books let's just grab all of that all right let's research this get it going uh, what's that leave us? 470. Why don't we get the sham chowder schematic uh, going too? That's going to cost 200. The only workstation we have left to upgrade is our workbench, but it requires both my nail gun and my impact driver. I've already talked about this, but in case some of you haven't heard me say this, um, I, I need replacements for both of those, really, before I'm willing to give up the two that I have. So, yeah, that's why we're not making that. Uh, what is this? Vegetable stew? That. Oh, yeah, okay. We might Let's just get these foods researched and get them out of the way so we know them. We'll have to do the chili dog later. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So that gives us the thingy there. Let's learn that. And now we know how to make fence posts. We'll put the rest of that stuff in there for now. Why doesn't it, why doesn't it consume these parts? Is that a, that's, a, that's gotta be a bug. I've seen that happen before where it doesn't actually use the parts that we need for the schematic. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. I mean, if you're going to give them back to me, I'll take them. But that seems to be a bug. All right, well, we got two fence posts then, and we got a switch. We're going to want that. Let's put this back here. Okay, so let's think about this for a second. We're going to need a generator. Um, I'm. Do I have a generator? I might. Let's just... Uh, no. Doesn't look like we have one. Unless I put it in here. But if I did, it should be coming up in the search, and it's not. We have a, a battery bank. Oh, uh, I wonder if that's what I was thinking about. Hmm, I thought we had a generator. I thought I looted one somewhere. Unless it's the battery bank I'm thinking about. Let's try... Gin... Nope. Okay, maybe we found. Maybe it was the schematic that we found. Uh. No, I don't see it in there. Wouldn't have put it in here, would I have? Or would I have? Other trunk. Huh, I don't see it in there. Alright, well, let's see. We probably make 
that in the workbench, I'm guessing. Yeah, okay. I how expensive is this? Eh, it's not it's not that expensive. Let's just make one. Watch me find where I put the one I, that I th thought I had now. <laughs> All right, we've finished some food in here. We got a couple shepherd's pies, some fish tacos, some hobo stew. So we're doing fantabulous on food. Let's put all that stuff in there for now. Uh, we'll actually, we'll keep the hobos with us because that's kind of been our MO lately is keeping hobos with us. Hobo stews, that is, not actual hobos, but hobo stew. Very good. Okay, now uh, we're going to want some relays. I've got some timed relays there. Uh, I don't necessarily want to use those, though you can use them as regular relays if you set them correctly, but I always, you know, it's that setting them correctly part that I, <laughs> I kind of screw up on sometimes. Um, do I know how to make relays? Yes, I do, and they're very cheap. Okay. I don't know how many of these I'm going to need. Um, let me look at something one more time. Relay. So, yeah, all we've got is the timed ones. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really interested in those. So, let's make... These are, these are really cheap to make. Let's make... I don't know. Let's just make five for now. That way we have them. We're going to need a wiring tool. Which we should have. Uh, yeah, we got several of those actually. Not a surprise there. Now, um, we're gonna need to take a bunch of steel plating with us because uh, we need, we have, we have to do some repairing from last time. Where are you at? Come here. How may I assist you? You may assist me by carrying steel plating. Can you carry all of this steel plating? Ready for duty. Uh, nope, that's a little bit too heavy for Roberta the Robotic Drone. How about that? 145, yeah, that's good. Can you do another half thingy of that? If I take a couple of those away... There you go. Roberta's got, got the steel. Okay, um... Let's see, what else? We're gonna probably need some iron plating, so let's take some of this. Oh, right, we were gonna upgrade... We were gonna upgrade the ladders to titanium. I don't know exactly what all that's gonna require. I don't know if it's gonna want scrap titanium or ingots or plates. So let's take scrap with us and we'll see uh, what that requires. And we might need to, I don't remember when I put those ladders down if they were block-based ladders or actual ladders that I made like this. I'm not really sure. So let's take some wood with us too, just so we, well, if we if we do the block though, let's see, we gotta do wood, then we gotta do stone, then we have to do um, concrete, and then s iron or steel, and the, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember how all that works. All right, well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll bring that stuff with us. Um, I, I'm not actually going to worry too much about that yet. I want to get the fence post set up done first. So we're already a little bit overweight here. Uh, those actually aren't that heavy. Yeah, let's put half of the, the iron back for the time being. And um, I'm just trying to think here. We're probably going to want some more concrete blocks, which I'm not probably not going to be able to carry very well. Uh, didn't I make a whole? Oh, you know what? I think we we must have used those in the last upgrade, uh, Deshong Tower upgrade. Really though, did we? I thought I made a whole mess of those. I... Oh, you know what? I think I made a whole mess of concrete mix. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it slow. That's what it was. Okay. So let's go over here. 
Oh no, it's nighttime. What will we do? Concrete barrier. Huh, those are cool. Wonder if we could. Wonder if we could do something with those. Board based design wise. Uh, let, let me craft one of these real quick. And then I also want more concrete blocks. I mean, we need we're gonna need we're gonna need to make these no matter what. But let's not blow all the concrete right now. Let's make I don't know fifty of these right now. Could you put one of these down? Uh. No. Okay. What I was thinking wouldn't work because it's. It's the full height of a block. What I was thinking is, you know, put one down flat and then put an invert one on top and then have like a little gap that you can fight the zombies through. <laughs> but, um, doesn't look like you could do that though. Okay. All right. Well, now we know. Now we know. I'm going to grab... 10 of these for now um, but we're we're on the overweight side there a bit okay so let's see we've got a generator we've got a switch we've got two electric fence posts let's make uh, and we got relays I'm not sure how many fence posts I, I'm thinking four so let's make two more of these for what I have in mind. Mm, is that what I'm thinking? <laughs> I think so, yeah. <coughs> That's what I'm thinking, I think. So let's make a couple more of these. And then we'll head on over to the Horde base and uh, see what all we need to do uh, to get this set up. We have a, a thing of gas that we can use to fill the Jenny with. And, okay. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. I always do. Oh, actually, it's to our advantage that it's nighttime because I can carry more weight at night. Uh, all right. Well, let's head over there and get started. I'm, like I said, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Maybe several somethings. So we'll just have to come back. I can't really take anything more over there anyways at the moment with the, the weight issue. Come on, Zombos. There must have been like a horde coming through, right, when I came down or something. Oh, I think we have a, at least one point to spend, maybe even more. Hey, how'd you get in here? How the hell did he get in here? Oh, they're like... They're like dropping down from up there. Oh, we're gonna have to do something about that. Are they, wait a minute though, how the hell are they getting up there? What? What is going on? How are they getting up here? They can't spawn up here because we have the we have the land claim blocked down. They're not getting up there from here, I don't think. I'd be really surprised if they were jumping that gap, especially doing it when I wasn't even, you know, wasn't even around. Is there something that got... Oh, I see how... Okay. I see what's going on here. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with this uh, situation here. 
Well, maybe what I should do is just tear all of this crap out of here. It wouldn't take that long if we use the the jackhammer. Uh, plus, we could probably do it in such a way to collapse the whole front. If, if we just cut all the way through here and removed all the attachments, and then just the bottom row of this, we could probably collapse some of those. We don't have to break every single one of them. Uh, yeah, all right, let's deal with that first. Because, you know, we could get a, a screamer horde come in, and, uh, and that would not be good. Never a good thing. Here, let's keep that with us. I'm pretty sure that the... Actually, we're in pretty good shape so far. Pretty sure that the jackhammer's going to cut through the concrete a little bit better than the Valkyrie. Um, but I don't have that with me, so let's go. Let's go grab that and just get this dealt with right now. All right. Well, hopefully that uh, fixes that issue. Let's kind of clear some of this other crap out of the way. I'm like. Seriously lagging, but then what else is new, right? Uh, I suppose we can pick that up. Okay. Yeah, let's go with that and see if that prevents the Zikaruskis from climbing up there. Um, we could even maybe put like a little ledge over there, but... It's not likely that they will because, you know, there's no detectable path up there now, and I'm not going to be really spending any time over here anyways to speak of. They're all going to be trying to get at me from in here, so we should be good. Okay, let's head on over to the uh, horde base. We got plenty of light now in the elevator shaft, so... We ever bite the dust again we can at least find our way up and down there all right so how are we going to do this um i sh should be able to upgrade this stuff to titanium right steel plating oh um right you have the steel plating Let's grab half of that. Okay, so it wants titanium plates. I just don't know how many it wants. So we're going to have to make a decent amount of titanium plates and bring those out here because we want, you know, we're basically going to upgrade this whole entire enclosure to titanium. Did I use all those plates all up already? Go. How may I help? Oh, no, that was asking for more titanium. Gotcha. Okay. So let's get all that repaired. Uh, the turret's actually in really good shape, so I think I'm going to leave that alone for now. So we'll just get our enclosure here fully repaired, and then uh, we'll come back out later with titanium to upgrade it. Both of our steel doors are in good shape. This all looks good. All of our bars there look good. That needs a little bit of TLC. As does that. And that's just... That's from a Screamer. Or not Screamer. What are they called? Demo. Demo's exploding. Oh, we need to upgrade this little piece to steel, too. Yikes. Um. All right, can I... Why won't you connect down there? All right, well, maybe that'll work. I'm just trying to get right. No, not that one. Damn it, Jim. That one. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we'll keep that one steel now, too. 
you need uh shoot i thought i brought concrete with me these yeah i'm gonna need a rail system of some sort up here because i i will often jump up here so i can kind of shoot down into there and you know especially with the lag on the horde night i'm definitely gonna have problems if i don't put something a little more permanent in there I think, though, that gets us the steel part of the equation here upgraded. All right, let's go down here. We'll tap that. So these steel ladders, yeah, so these are normal ladders. That are, they weren't ladders that we made from blocks because it's not giving me the option to upgrade it any anymore so we're gonna have to tear all of these out and replace them you know we'll quit repairing emoji it's gonna make it harder to break it <laughs> you're wasting resources uh yeah i'm gonna have to get concrete for that i might even want to you know what i think we should probably come down um yeah concrete mix yeah we should probably come down a little further with the at least the steel too because um, if a demo is going to blow up, he's almost, m most likely he's going to be inside the chamber. And he has a, you know, a five block radius. So, yeah, we don't have that last ladder rung. Well, here, let's actually do, uh, Roberta, are you, are you going to cause me a broken leg? Okay, phew. Oh, you know what? The concrete's in the motorcycle, isn't it? Right. Okay. Yeah, we need that. Let, let me go run and grab that really quick. I was going to say, man, I thought I grabbed a bunch of concrete to bring with us. Okay, so let's get the concrete stuff repaired. Um, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. We're wasting steel here. Not intentionally. This is all, that needs a tap. That needs a tap. This is all splash damage from the demo. I mean, this is all, should all be upgraded probably to steel too, but I don't have that many resources to spare at the moment. Okay, so what I want to do is let's grab... Oh, you know what? We don't have to go through all those upgrades. I just remembered we can we can turn this into a ladder. Oh, perfect. Okay. That is very good to know. All right, so let's grab this concrete ladder round. I mean, it it's, doesn't really matter, does it? It's going to ultimately end up being round anyways. Oh, actually, maybe it doesn't ultimately end up being round. There. Okay. Now we can upgrade that to steel. And then we need titanium plates. Fantastic. Okay. That's really good. All right. So I'm not going to do all of that right now. I want to get the fence post situation sorted first. Uh, and then we'll worry about getting the ladders upgraded and maybe coming coming down a little bit further on, on these blocks too. Some of the, the damage down here is probably from me shooting down... I would imagine. Let's not repair. Well, you know what, though? We don't necessarily need this whole entire ladder to be titanium. It's mostly the ones up here that take the most damage and the ones down at the bottom near the entrance. These could probably remain steel in the middle and be fine. And, of course, if we're wrong about that, we adjust, you know, for next time. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, let's just get... Everything down here touched up for now. And if, if we're going to do that... Okay, so let me think about this for a second. Um, one, two, th three. If the demo explodes up there, it shouldn't technically go beyond this block here. So why don't we... How much steel do I have? Okay, why don't we do this? 
We will upgrade down to here, and that should give us pl uh, plenty of protection from demolishers. And then we'll also bring the ladders, uh, we'll upgrade the ladders to titanium down to this point as well, and then everything else below this, at least all, until we get close to the bottom, will just remain steel. Because, yes, there's not really a lot of damage that happens on those. So, I missed a couple spots along here. And did it, did it, did it, uh, right there. Okay. A little shot right there. Guess it's a little easier just to hit him from this side. No! No, 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 no. All right, good. Now, they don't really seem to focus any damage on this, but I still think maybe these first two blocks should be steel as well. Because sometimes they kind of get clustered down here, and they can definitely cause damage to these ladders. So, are these still in ladder formation? No, they're back to block formation. But, uh, like, yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll take care of that later. We'll take care of that later. Okay, so, fence post time. So how are we going to do this? Um... I think what I would like to do, we can either do like two fence posts across, uh, one down below for the, sh you know, for the crawler types, and then one up above, and then standing zombos will actually get hit twice uh, in the legs and above, or we could do them vertically, so. You know, one going up here, and then, yeah, the vert vertical is going to be kind of tough to do, though. The nice thing about doing it vertically, though, is we're kind of catching the lower zombies and the upper zombies with just one fence. Hmm. And then if I set it up to where the end post is up here, I should be able to just easily be able to reach up there and repair it to keep it repaired. Just trying to think about how how this should go down. We would have to go down below and hollow out one of the blocks, though, to get it vertical, which I don't like that idea because then we're potentially creating a weak point so yeah we should probably go sideways okay so if that's what we're gonna do the upper ones are gonna be pretty easy to handle the other consideration though is that Ideally, we want the fence posts out of range of demolisher explosions. Um, okay, so let's do this. Let's grab our jackhammer. And let's remove this block. Get that upgraded to steel. Okay. I'm going to do this first with wood just to kind of map it out before I commit to it. Okay, so put that there. So that's three three blocks out okay should have brought some oh shits with me yeah. four blocks out 
five blocks out. And, okay, so if we put... The fence posts here. That's going to cover the upper portion. Yeah. Okay, so that'll cover the upper portion. And then we need to go down another block to do the lower portion for the crawlers. So it needs to be down on this level here. Um, okay. So that means we need to hang a block down and then go out another one. Because we can't put two fence posts in the same square. Two, three, four, five. Wonder if we need to go out actually six for demolisher explosions. All right, well here, let's um, let's pick these back up. I'm just just thinking here. Thinkity think think thinking. I'm gonna have to go get some more concrete blocks, I think, to make this work. Uh, all right, let's change the shape of this. What I want to use is this one here, I think. Or, rather than do that, what about something like this that's rotated this way, so it kind of creates a little bit of a shield for the fence post. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. I like that idea. All right, we need to... We can still get out over here by jumping out on the ladder, right? Yeah, okay. We can still do it from here, though. Um... Okay, hold on a sec. If we... Oh, no, that isn't going to work. That isn't going to work because we won't be able to put the fence post in there. Right. Okay. I'm glad I thought about that before I started putting these down. I would have been like... Ugh. There's another way we can make that put a, like a little, um, you know, shield up, though. But we can't do it this way. Okay. So, making this up as I go, peeps. You know how it is. Then I think what we want is the uh, this piece here. Well, no, not if we're going to do the shield idea. Which we really should to protect our fence posts. Um, all right, well, then let's just go with a plate. Concrete plate. Mm, it's gonna okay if we do that it's gonna have to be facing down right okay so let's do advanced there we go that's what we want so it's got to go down to this level in order to be high enough
Yeah. To be high enough to go into this upper square. Right. Okay. And then we want it to go out. This is the part where we fall and break our leg. That's three. Four. Five. Um, trying to remember what the s how far we can span an electric fence. Yeah, I think I I, I think we can go out. Hmm, can we though? Let's try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Can we figure something else out? Okay, so that's where the upper post will sit. Now what we need to do is we need to get down a block. To get the lower post, which is going to be even further out. You know, I should have made this... Yeah, I should have done something different with this block. Yeah, okay. I think I want this block to be... Let me look at the shapes here. I know, the gears are turning, man! Gears are turning inside my old brain. be nice if we could use something like this, but you can't put anything on the inside of that because it's taking up the full block space. I mean, honestly, the simplest thing to do is just put a full block there and call it, call it a day. Um, or we could at least put... I think we could put this here. Yeah, we could do that, actually. We just got to make sure it's going the right direction. Okay, so let's do an advanced rotation... I think that's what we want there. Yeah, that's what we want there. Okay. Right there. No. Oh, damn it. Totally screwed that up. Okay, let's try this again. Hit the right button this time, OG. There. Okay, now that will allow us then to drop down one level. And so let's go back to this block. And uh, copy rotation. It looks like it already is. And then we should be able to put this right... Uh, no. We can't do that. Can we do that? I don't think we can do that. Yeah, we can do that. Oh! No, we can't do that. There's going to have to be something else underneath this next block for that to attach to. Oh, crap. There we go. I told you. Oh, we didn't break our leg. Hey, guess what? I'm going to remember to take steroids this time. We kind of needed to come down here anyway. <laughs> it's just not quite in that fashion. We'll get some eggs while we're here. Eggs and feathers. Okay, so let's grab this. And we want to get kind of sort of underneath this here. And nerd pull up. Roberta? Seriously? Alright, are you, are you carrying anything? Oh, uh, yeah, I can't grab that from her because you need... Great to see you, Master. No, don't stay here. All right, Roberta, come here. Come hither. Okay, I want you to... Where's... Yeah, stay As here. As you wish. 
Stay there. Don't let me forget you. I probably will. No, I could never, never forget Roberta the Robotic Drone. Okay, let's nerd pull up here. We're not going to bump our head into this, are we? Okay. So, what we got to do in order to get this other piece to fit is we have to put something here. And that something could probably just be a really skinny piece. I don't... I think there was one point early on in Alpha 7, or no, not Alpha 17, Alpha 20 here, where when you change the shape of the piece, then it changed its durability, but then they went back to not doing that anymore. Yeah, we want these really skinny pieces. Um, which one exactly are we looking for? I think this one, maybe? No, it can't be. Yeah, it's got to be in, on the corner. So I think it's this one here. And it's round, but that doesn't matter. It, it should still uh, work. Okay, so if we do an advanced rotation. I can't tell what it's doing. What I want, yeah, I want it in the upper corner there, laying flat. Except for, okay, yeah, I think I can see it this way. Just like that. Boom. Okay, cool. Now, let's drop down here. Now we should be able to fit... one of these right there boom there we go okay that's just what the doctor ordered very good okay let's head on back up now okay you can with pleasure follow me with pleasure uh, can we get up here now nah, let's not Let's not fight it. Let's just go. Uh, we'll go this way. We have to remember that we do have an injured leg, so we don't want to get too crazy. All right, how much steel do we have? I have 56 plating. Roberta, how, <coughs> excuse me. How much does Roberta have on her? Where is Roberta? Roberta! Hello! Are you stuck? She's stuck. Get all the way out to the corner. Will she teleport to us? She's trying to get over here. Roberta! All right. I need this I need the steel that she has on her. You down here? Nope. I can't get to that other floor. Okay, well, I want to. I, I kind of want to get this upgraded to steel before I put the posts on them. Where is she at? There, w there needs to be like a, a teleport to me, command for the for the drones. But as far as I know, there isn't one that does that. Okay, well, here, let's just keep working here. So, all right, we're gonna put you here. And you here, like so. I think that'll work. <gasps> uh, 
I'm just wondering if... The zombies never really attack the sledge turret, though. The damage that it has on it is from this exploder. From the, uh, what's it call it? The demo? I wonder if we should do something here to make that a little more secure. Because if the sledge turret ever did get destroyed, they could it theoretically... See, this is a path to get up to me. Unless... We got rid of this this ledge here. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. 